Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. I know it's been a while, um, but a long way overdue. I got another video for y'all today, and today we're going to be doing chicken lollipops. It's smoked chicken lollipops. Um, some people do these. Uh, I'm going to give this a go. You know, I've done it only a few times, but I'm going to show y'all how I do it. I've um, got a few tips here and there on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to show you as I go and give credit to who's due from where I got it from. So what we got here, I'm going to show you. I already got some lollipops up here done up for you guys just to save time. Um, as you can see, they're pushed down and look like lollipops. But what I got it right here is I got a regular drumstick and you know you can get these from your any grocery store so it really doesn't matter and the first thing I like to do I'm gonna give credit to um, Diva Q she has a YouTube channel so if you haven't been over there stop by but she gave me a little tip because they don't stand up real easy and I'm gonna show you why there's a method to the madness it's because you know when you, it's doing like this you know they will pretty much fall so the first thing we're gonna come over here and do is we're gonna cut this this bone and we're gonna make it flat I know a little bit of meat right there but you know you don't have to throw it away. I'll give it to my dog or something. You know, he likes that kind of stuff. And pretty much that's how it is on flat on the bottom. And what I like to do on the top is to make it a little easier. Is I like to cut it, but you don't have to do this. Watch your fingers, just cut straight down. Get some of that cartilage off right there. Okay, so it's pretty much flat on the top, just, just for looks. You don't have to do that. I have a few that's not even done like that. But what you want to do is come about at least three quarters ways down, and then you got tendons running through this chicken leg. Okay, you're not going to be able to get all of them out. So you want to go ahead and take your knife, pretty sharp knife. I like to you know, do a couple strokes, turn it, do a couple strokes just to cut through, because sometimes the tendons are very hard to cut. Just keep going kind of swipe, cut. You, gotta, you might have to go through this a couple times. Keep going, cut. Go through. Now you can see how I'm getting clean on that chicken bone right there. So that's, that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. And it's things you, some things you can't get. So what you're gonna do, you got a pair of kitchen shears. Cut that right there. And the thing you would do next is take your knife, kind of go over and cut until it's all gone. Now, it's not going to look perfect, guys. You know, some of this you might have to cut off, take by hand, you know, like that. But it's not going to look perfect. It's going to look just like this. Okay? And what you want to do now, you can take a paper towel or you can just take your hand. And I like to go down until you look like this okay now there's a little sharp bone in here guys and it's right here now you're not gonna be able to all, all the time get this out but I just like to at least break it okay so it's not sticking and if I can get it out I get it out sometimes you can take your kitchen shears and grab onto it and take a little bit of it out now that didn't get all of it out but you have some in there, you know, just break it up a little bit. And that's about it. And what you do, just kind of tuck that meat in there, you know, make it look nice. And voila, there it is, you know. And that's how that looks right there. So that's one of your uh, lollipops right there. So what I got next, guys, I'm going to move this over, get my knife out of the way, get my chicken put up over to the side okay I got a pan and I'm gonna move over here on my cutting board okay and this is what it's gonna go on when it's on the grill let's put that boy right there we just finished okay and what I've come up over here guys is some seasonings you can use any rub you want to um, but what I like to do is what I found. I got some of my Makers 46. I, I wanted a whiskey type injection. A lot of people, you do not have to inject these guys. But I'm doing just for some flavor. I got a little bit of whiskey right there. Some butter. Some apple cider vinegar. And some uh, Allegro marinade. Right here is just basically salt, pepper, and garlic. Uh, with a little bit of cumin. 
So that's going to go on there first. So what I'm going to do first, guys, I'm going to take my injector. Pull that out right there. Let's get the, all that out. Okay, let's get some good injection. There we go. Get my injector right there. Just go through. Go through here. Oh, squirting a little bit. It likes to squirt. Go through, you know, a little, a couple little pokes here and there. Go around a little bit. Okay. A little more poking. Let's use some of that juice to go down in there. But like, like I said, guys, it, this is not necessary. But I'm just doing a little bit of extra today. Looking like I ran out of injection, get a little more. Okay, because I only have a few left. Okay, good. the cavity is pretty loose in here, guys. So some of it might go out, some of it might stay in there. And that's pretty much out of that right there. So the next thing we're going to do, guys, I'm going to take this brush. And I'm going to go over each one. Kind of brush it, brush the bottom right there. Brush each, each one. Brush this one. Go through here. Just keep brushing until you get all of them. I don't have that many today, so we're not going to skip through. We're just going to show you. And just to give a little flavor to your skin and stuff as you're cooking, somewhere for your rub to stick. It's basically what this is, what, what I'm doing right here. So hopefully these turn out pretty good. Guys, I pretty much, you know, play it by ear. You know, I play with my seasonings and stuff. But, you know, I don't get a look too crazy. But I just, you know, pretty much stick to my bases, then I add from there. You know, the basic salt and pepper, garlic, onion powder or something like that. But you can use whatever rub you want to use. Only got one more after this. Get that bottom, guys. We want to press. We want to press some rub down there because they're going to cook standing up just like this. We're going to smoke these. So I got my little rub there, and the rest of that right there will be used for a barbecue sauce I'll make. So what you want to do next, guys? I'm going to just use my hand, kind of mix this up. Just go through. You ain't got to be all. Fancy with it, just get some seasoning on there. I'll come back and do the bottoms. Get some more on there. Almost done. Oh, that's an easier way. Oh, look at that. Let's go through and make it a little easier. We're picking them up. I'm going too fast, my cameraman. And we have a sponsor today, and we're being sponsored by Simply Angelic Photography. Oh, really? <laughs> you had to throw that out there. Y'all can uh, check her out at simplyangelicphotography.com. Really? Simplyangelicstudios.com right there. Check her out. She's an awesome photographer. Really, Bruce? If you have any photography needs, check her out and book today. Okay, Bruce. I'm not playing, guys. She's real good. Okay, honey. So, let's take these going to the bottom. Let's season that bottom a little bit. And I'm going to get your butt if you keep moving that fast. I'm moving fast, guys. I apologize if I'm moving too fast. You know what? I'm not going to focus on you. I'm just going to get the um, <laughs> seasonings. They know what you're doing. Yeah, they know what I'm doing. They got it down pretty much packed. We'll throw one more seasoning on this after we're done. The other one I'll be kind of messy with. You know? The other one doesn't have too much. It has a little bit of sugar in it. Okay. So what I like to do next, guys, after I got that on there, I got some all-purpose rub that I made, and I'm just going to use that to go on this. Put a second base of seasoning. Let's go go across, you know, get that rub all in there. Shake my rub up. 
so my peppers get mixed pretty good. Y'all probably like, man, this guy is messy. Yeah, we'll clean it up. So just make sure you know you do clean up after yourself, especially with chicken. You know, you want to really get thorough and clean up after chicken, so you won't have salmonella poison. Don't want to use cross-contaminate any kind of meat or anything else. Get some more seasoning at the bottom of these. Try not to move so fast. Gotta All right. That should be pretty much it. Okay. So I got my season on everything, guys. Everything's pretty much done from right there. Just make sure my lollipops stand up. Stand up, boy. There you go. Get them spaced out kind of evenly so they can go and cook evenly. Okay, place my rack, put it back over here. Clean my cutting board off when I come back in. And stay tuned, we'll go outside and we'll place these bad boys on the grill. Stay tuned. All right guys, we're out here again. We got our lollipops ready for the smoker. We got the old style Weber smoker right here. Got our coals nice and hot, water pan just for moisture. Okay, we're gonna be smoking these bad boys about 300 degrees today, maybe 325. So I'm, what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna go ahead and just go put this on just like this. Indirect heat, just like that. All right, so those are on right there. The only thing to do now is go ahead Lift up, put your little wood in. Right there. Little apple wood we got going on today. Let these boys smoke for about 200 degrees. Not 200 degrees, about 300 degrees for about two hours. Come back out here and check these in about an hour. Go to put your lid over, set it and forget it. Temp's gonna come back up. Only thing to do now is got some local brew, some fireman's fork. Go ahead and pop that. Sit back and wait. Good. So it's been about an hour and a half, and we're back out here, and I got my sauce ready right here. Right there, I got some sauce. And we're gonna see what these bad boys look like. So I take my little thing off. Man, they're looking good. So what you wanna do next, got me a little glove, because this can be a little hot. So take it. Yep. Set them right back on there. Good. Set it back on there. Okay. That's another one. Just keep doing that. What we're gonna do is let these kind of cook into the meat, the sauce, put a little color on it, a little glaze on it. You don't have to make your own sauce. You know, I made my own. Didn't use any other barbecue sauce. Use a I made sure ketchup and a little bit of whiskey and butter, sauce I had from in there. Put it in there just like that. Roll it around, get a nice little even glaze. So these are on here now, they're good. We're gonna set this, our smoker, 
Put it back on. Come back out here in about 20 minutes. Take them off, let them rest, put some vegetables on, and we should be good. Stay tuned. All right, so we got the finished product right here. I mean, look at these things. They look real good. I mean, look at the color on them. Real good. Smooth, barbecue sauce. So what I'm gonna do is play it. Now you can see why I put the foil on the drumsticks so, you know, to keep them from browning too much. So all you gotta, all you gotta do now is play them up. So let's just put these two right here. So, there we go. Put your some vegetables on there, any the size you want. I'm gonna put those on there. A couple vegetables, you know, a couple, couple links if you want. You know, you want some links. You know, get you a good old pickle. You know, I gotta have a pickle with everything. After that, just go ahead and pour you up something good because it's getting late. Got my little whiskey right there, mason jar. Don't skip out. A little bit of Red Bull. Put it with that. Hope y'all liked it. Should be good. Matter of fact, let's just take a piece out of them and see if they can bite right through that skin. Here, I'll take one of these. Mmm. There it is. Right through the skin, guys. Do you pull it off? Thank you. Stay tuned. Two pitch. It is 